my name is Jill Barry Bowen, CEO of Northwestern Medical Center, and your host of the NMC Health Beat Show, which is dedicated to discussing important healthcare topics of interest to our community. On today's show, I'm chatting with Johanna Seta, a Healthy Roots Coordinator at Northwestern Medical Center. We'll be talking about an online platform for ordering fresh, local foods straight from the farm. So Johanna, thank you for being with me today. Thanks, Jill. I'm really excited to be here. I'm excited to talk about Healthy Roots, uh, what's happening right now, and what we have in store for the next year. Um, so I could start by telling you a little bit about myself. That would be great. Why don't you start there? Great. So I've been working in food systems for about nine years since graduating from the University of Vermont. Uh, that looks like various capacities everywhere from organic farming to vegetable and fruit distribution uh, to most recently working in policy in organic certification for NOFA Vermont, uh, wow. which inevitably <laughs> led me to Healthy Roots. <laughs> that's a great connection. That's, Absolutely. That's terrific. You're Absolutely. so well prepared for this. So um, we've heard a little bit about Healthy Roots before, but maybe you could just ground us on what is Healthy Roots before we start talking about the online market. Sure. So Healthy Roots is an emerging local food system. We cover Franklin and Grand Isle County. Our focus really is to support local growers, so that includes farmers and processors, uh, creating a viable ag economy here, and also creating a healthy food system for our consumers. So it's to get that fresh, healthy food out to communities here in Franklin and Grand Isle County. Um, our priorities really cover uh, infrastructure, so we have a Franklin County Farmers Market online, which we'll be covering today. Uh, we have a cold storage unit in East Fairfield. Mm -hmm. We have a distribution route for our producers. Uh, we also cover farm to institution. So that really looks like, the bulk of it looks like farm to school at this point, mm -hmm. although we are working with NMC and other businesses to help procurement for lo from local farmers into the hospital and to other businesses in the area. Uh, we cover consumer education. Uh, that looks like in hospital consumer ed, so we have a worksite CSA at NMC, as you know. Yes. Uh, we do a tasting monthly with local <laughs> food from local farmers. Um, and then we host bigger events, like In Good Taste. Nice. Uh, so we help farmers connect with events and with people to provide local fresh food. Um, the other thing that we do is we really have this big network of farmers in Franklin and Grand Isle County that we support. So we try to provide them with the information that's happening in Vermont and the state, both um, statewide and regionally. Um, and then uh, lastly, we, lastly but um, not least, is we have a gleaning program, the Root Rescue Program. Oh, which interesting. I'll get into that a little bit more later after we focus on the online farmers market. So how long has Healthy Roots been around? Healthy Roots has been around since May, May of 2011 is when the Franklin County Farmers oh, Market okay. online began. Wow, so it's been about five years. So uh, do you have an advisory council or uh, can you talk a little bit about your partners? In we this? do, we do. Our advisory committee is extremely important to us. Uh, there are local partners who help guide our work, make sure that we stay on mission and vision. Mm -hmm. um, and some of those folks include the Franklin County Industrial Development Corporation, the South Hero Land Trust, mm -hmm. the Franklin Grand Isle Workforce Investment Board, the Farm Service Agency, Lake Champlain Island Ag Network, <laughs> Northwest Regional Planning Commission, wow. Northwest Regional Farm to School. <laughs> As you see, it's a big reach. Yes. Uh, Notch, and of course, Northwestern Medical Center. Um, I do want to touch on that. It, you know, it's been really inspiring, and the reason that I wanted to, one of the main reasons I wanted to join Healthy Roots is because. I think that we are doing something cutting edge here. It's amazing that a regional hospital is supporting this work, this holistic, uh, from the ground up level, long lasting change work. Um, it's not many folks are doing that. So I think oh. we're unique in that way and I'm thankful yeah. to be here. Um, again, we have regional partners. They're wonderful supporters of our work. Uh, we also support them. That's Vermont Farm to Plate, NOFA Vermont, we're part of the Vermont Gleaning Collective. That's mm -hmm. a statewide effort. So we are the Gleaning Collective for the Northwest region, uh, the regional food shelves, and then Seth at Pumpkin Village Foods. <laughs> I wanted to shout out to him because he does our distribution. Nice. Um, and there are many wonderful other partner organizations. I just wanted to make sure I touched on a, a few key players in our work. Wonderful. So let's jump right into the um, online market. Maybe you could tell us about 
Tell us about it, how long it's been around, and uh, its intent. Sure. So we were hosted by a site called Your Farm Stand, which has been wonderful to us for the last few years. Uh, they were closing, and we also were interested in taking an opportunity to take the market to the next level. So what that looked like for us is reaching out to local food marketplace. They're a platform host site that we're using. Uh, other, other food hubs in the state are also using them. So we had some great recommendations regarding their, um, what they provide to us and their training and the, what the platform would feel like and look like for our customers. Mm -hmm. So we moved forward with that. And over the last few months, we have been making a large effort uh, to get everything moved over to the new site. Um, the new site's wonderful because customers can actually go to the site, healthyrootsvt.org. They okay. go to the site and they can sign up as a customer. With this new site, we have the option to post pictures of products. So the one thing that was happening with our last site is that folks were wondering, what is my kale going to look like? Um, what is my chicken and biscuits going to look like? So with the new site, we can actually post pictures. And then also the customer is able to check out via credit card or debit card. Oh, so okay. they order everything that they'd like for the week and they go to their online cart and they actually pay right there. So they pay for their order and then they pick it up at one of our four pickup locations in Franklin County. Um, so that's Swanton, Maple City Candy, uh, Boston Post Dairy in Enosburg, mm -hmm. um, Guy's Farm and Yard in St. Albans, and then the Bent Northrop Library in Fairfield. Nice. Um, so it's, it's, it's great because customers can either choose to do all of their grocery shopping online, they could purchase a gift, or maybe they forgot last minute eggs and they wanted to pick yeah. them up at the library on their way home. So. It's, wow. it's really a great resource to provide and give access to folks in the county who maybe otherwise wouldn't have or at least have another opportunity to purchase locally. So what types of foods are available? You've already mentioned a few, but uh, what yeah. can we expect? Yeah, so we have 29 active vendors at this point, and that ranges f anything from fresh seasonal veggies and fruits. Mm -hmm. So you might find rhubarb or mm -hmm. um, mixed greens on the market right now, potatoes. Um, and then we also carry a lot of varieties of meat cuts. So that's beef, pork, and chicken. Mm -hmm. uh, we also carry processed Good, so specialty products like jam, pickles, um, <laughs> and then your dairy, so your staples, your eggs, wow. your butter, your milk. You can really do all of your grocery shopping online, which is pretty amazing. Um, it's We've sort of taken this new age, folks want things fast, they want it to be easy, and we want healthy to be an easy choice, and we also want it to be a local choice. So it's really important to us that folks know that it is, exists and that they use it. <laughs> <laughs> this is fantastic. Yeah. It really is. So uh, what's the impact on the local economy and the farmers? Sure. So we saw this as another opportunity for sales for farmers. They have outlets. They have their farmer's market. They have CSA. They have wholesale. They have retail. What this does for the farmer is it provides an additional outlet at an aggregation site that's local. They're able to keep their product local, which is really important to some of our farmers and processors. Okay they're also able to keep the money local. So it's this full circle where we're supporting the ag economy, we're supporting it locally, and then we're supporting the health of the community. Um, it's a holistic perspective yeah. on an online market and on the health of the community. Um, and our farmers, I think the value that they see in it additionally is that they don't have to plan ahead necessarily. So for example, if somebody had a large amount of kale, but they didn't have any carrots to post, that would be okay. Um, for a CSA or a farmer's market, they have to have the product they've committed to. Mm -hmm. So if there's a crop failure or if they just didn't plant enough or couldn't harvest it on time, that's okay. They can choose to post what they have. Mm -hmm. um, and that is actually what creates the variety on the market. So sure. folks should check back in because it changes every week pretty drastically <laughs> in the summer. <laughs> yes, this is the time. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. So talk a little bit about gleaning. Sure, so gleaning our root rescue program, uh, it's our, a pilot program this year. We're part of a collective with five other statewide gleaning programs. So this, in this first year, we're working with farms in Franklin and Grand Isle County. What we're doing really is rescuing food that's in excess from farmers that they would not otherwise sell. So okay. we don't wanna take product 
from their sales. We only want to take the product that maybe is too small or too large or they don't have an outlet for it or they don't have the um, manpower to harvest it potentially. Mm -hmm. So what we'll do is we'll work with the farmer to see at what point in the chain could we rescue this food. Is it from the farm once it's harvested because they don't have sales? Is it post farmer's market because sure. They sold everything at market, they don't want to bring it back to the farm because maybe they don't have a farm stand to sell it at. Mm -hmm. We rescue that food and then we bring it to charitable recipient sites. Okay. And those sites are our regional food shelves. And we try to keep the food in Grand Isle that we rescue in Grand Isle. We keep the food we rescue in Franklin County here. Um, so we have started Good. gleaning this year already. It's going to ramp up in August. Um, we are looking for volunteers. so. If folks want to go to the vermontgleaningcollective.org website, they can actually sign up as a volunteer for the Root Rescue program with us. We post our gleans there so they can find out if we're gleaning this week, if they want to come to Valley Dream Farm, we'll be there on <laughs> Wednesday maybe. Uh, we, can, nice. we can set them up to come out, uh, see what the farmer is doing, get to know their neighborhood farmers. Similarly to the online market, this is about community building. So it's not only about food systems and providing healthy food, but creating the outreach access education it's everything. <laughs> wow. Yeah. It's really amazing resource and I'm I'm hoping the word is out there enough so folks do get connected. Absolutely. You know, with this. It's remarkable. And they can they can find out about it. I hope that folks follow our work. We have a Facebook page. It's the Healthy Roots Facebook page so they can see what we're up to. Good. We might post events, we might post gleanings, we might post uh, what's for sale this week on the online market. Maybe we're featuring something special, like new tea that's on the market. Um, and they can also follow us on Instagram. We have a Healthy Roots VT account. Um, we'll often post pictures there of our gleans. We've just started that up so they can follow our work there. Some people are more visual. That works for me. Um, <laughs> and then again, they can shop with us, healthyrootsvt.org, and glean with us, Vermont Gleaning Collective. Excellent, that's wonderful. What about schools? How are you connected with the schools? Sure, so our farm to school program, um, Rachel Huff, who is our farm to school coordinator, is working with schools in Franklin and Grand Isle County. Uh, at this point, mostly focused on education, we're trying to break into the procurement piece. So we're trying to assist schools find out where they're at because schools are at different levels with farm to school, both with education and with local procurement. So find out where they're at and find out what they really want. Each school has individual needs. So Rachel will work with them to assess where they're at, find out what their commitments are, and then help them reach those goals. Um, we do partner with RISE in that we're working with folks like Meredith in Alberg, mm -hmm. And we hope that moving forward, we'll get to um, increase that effort and work more collaborati collaboratively with them moving forward. Wow, that's great. Yeah. You're sort of everywhere. <laughs> I love You're it. a little bit of everywhere. <laughs> and I think the idea behind Healthy Roots is that we are this hub for farmers and that we're also this education and access piece for consumers. And we would like for that reach to, like I said earlier, be this, be this preventative care, both in the medical sense and also in the community sense. Wow. Well, this time has flown. Uh, so <laughs> do you have any kind of closing thoughts? Did we miss anything that you're hoping to let folks know about um, Healthy Roots or the online market? The idea, I guess I'd like to let everyone know that we are growing and in the next year, the points that I've touched upon are really expanding and for folks to get excited and take ownership of what's right here and that we can keep food local, we can keep our dollar local by keeping our food local mm -hmm. and we can create a healthy, viable economy and support the work that's already being done and been done. So. Join us at the hospital or in our gleaning efforts. <laughs> Excellent. And it's healthyrootvt.org? Healthyrootsvt.org. Excellent. Correct. Got the S in there. Yes. <laughs> healthyrootsvt.org. Yes. Excellent. To get connected. Well, you've been a lot of fun and you've got so great energy and I can only imagine where this program is going to go. Thank you. Your leadership. So thank you so much for your passion for this program and connecting with our community. Thank it's, you so it's much, It's really Jill. invaluable. Thank you so much.
So this is Jill Berry Bowen, CEO of Northwestern Medical Center. It's been so fun to have you join us to, uh, to learn from Johanna about the Healthy Roots and the online market. HealthyRootsVT.org. It's something you should check out.